On completion of this section, you should be aware of the similarities and differences between the purifier, clarifier, and alcap in respect of water seal, interface, gravity disc, water outlet, particle separation. Let's make a statement. Normally, alcap is a clarifier. And during water draining, it is a purifier that runs with a restricted broken water seal. Click the purifier, clarifier, and alcap to get information about the water seal. Yes. The purifier has a water seal. Sealing water is added to the purifier bowl after each discharge. The water seal has to be established in a purifier, or else the oil can flow out past the outer edge of the top disc and up through the water outlet. No, it is not needed in a clarifier. As the water outlet is blocked by fitting the smallest gravity disc, the diameter of the hole in the disc is smaller than the diameter of the level ring. The danger in this condition is if there is water in the oil, then the bowl will fill with water and the disc stack will be blocked. No, well, not as such. A known quantity of water is added to the bowl after discharge. This is called conditioning water. It is not enough to reach the outer edge of the top disc. The purpose of the water in this case is to keep the sludge moist, to enable it to easily leave the bowl at the next discharge. Click the purifier, clarifier, and alcap to get information about the interface. Yes, the interface is established after each discharge. The danger here is that any process variations can seriously affect the position of the interface. Disc stack is blocked by the water. Water in the oil outlet and seriously reduced particle removal. Interface moves outwards, caused by drop in separating temperature. Water seal is lost and oil flows out of the water outlet. Alarm for low back pressure. Engineer comes along and fits a smaller gravity disc for an easy life. Separating temperature now increases and consequently interface moves into disc stack. No. Water is not added into the bowl, but if there is water in the oil, the interface will be formed and move continuously inwards until the disc stack is blocked with water. Particle separation will be severely reduced, and water passes out with the cleaned oil. No, well, not as such. A known quantity of water is added into the bowl after the discharge. This is called conditioning water. It is not enough to reach the outer edge of the top disc. The purpose of the water in this case is to keep the sludge moist, to enable it to easily leave the bowl at the next discharge. An interface between the oil and the water will be established, but at a much larger diameter. As it moves inwards and reaches the disc stack, some water will begin to pass out the oil outlet. This is detected by the transducer, and some action can be taken.
Click the purifier, clarifier and alcap to get information about the gravity disk. Yes. Gravity disks have to be changed. A different size of gravity disk has to be fitted depending on the varying process conditions, density, viscosity, temperature and flow. No. Changing of gravity disks is not needed. The smallest gravity disk is fitted and no adjustments are needed. This disk is sometimes called the clarifier disk. No. Another disk, called a flow control disk, is fitted. No adjustments are needed. This allows a reduced flow from the water outlet when the drain valve is open. Click the purifier, clarifier and alcap to get information about the water outlet. Normally open. The water is free to pass out this way. Closed by the fitting of the clarifier disc. This is normally closed by the drain valve. The drain valve opens in response to a signal from the EPC 400. Click the purifier, clarifier and alcap to get information about the particle separation in the bowl. Provided the purifier is well adjusted for the process conditions, particle separation is good. Provided water does not block the disk stack, then particle separation is good. Always very good, because the interface is outside the disk stack.